quick introduction here. My name is Sean Dwyer. This is my sister, Brenna Dwyer. And uh, this, this ALS stuff sucks. <laughs> so I'm going to try not to choke, but uh, I'm already doing it. So I promise I'm the tough guy that you see on TV, but every time I talk about my dad, it really gets me. So here goes nothing. Um, I think the most important message I want to pass along tonight is just legacy and just really what that means. Um, you know, for us, for my dad, <coughs> it wasn't about what you had, it was about what you left behind. Yeah. Stephen Hawking is shit. <laughs> <laughs> God, I, I didn't think I would choke. I, I swear I've, I've talked to like people before, you know, it's, but it's, it's, it's hard when it's ALS. Um, you know, our legacy begins with a Seattle boy and an Alaska girl who fell in love with the creativity and the independence that uh, the commercial fishing industry has to offer. And, uh, you know, a couple of kids and a couple of boats later, here we are. We are uh, uh, still thriving in that industry. And, uh, you know, our legacy is very creative. And our dad is, is definitely who we have to thank for that. He was a big, tough guy. Um, he was a Bering Sea crab fisherman in the 80s, and uh, it was a, he, was, he was strong, but ALS didn't define him, it just, it just influenced him, and it, it, it was something that he, he approached very level-headed, and, uh, you know, as, as, as he was diagnosed, Brenna and I both had our different ways of coping with the disease, and, uh, you know, I looked up to my dad, And I, uh, I became his hands and his eyes and his feet on the boat when the disease took his ability to climb ladders, to cross onto the boats, to climb into the engine rooms. And, uh, you know, the man that was the, uh, the guy that anyone could call and ask for advice, you know, I was, I was now the one who was like, no, 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 okay. Yeah, now he told me, you just go down the stairs. I know we can't get this thing fixed, but you just go down the stairs and then three steps to the left and then you lift up this board and then you, you know, reach past the valve that's there. And that's, that's what he did. He just, he just took things in for what they were and was very, very progressive with the way he thought about everything. And, uh, and that's, that's what led us to TDI. And, you know, his thing was, uh, I wrote these notes like last minute because I thought that I was going to just, you know, kind of free flow this thing. And then I got up here for sound check and I, you know, I was just freaking choked. So, <laughs> <coughs> so I, <laughs> Thank you. I, uh, I, I, I like his analogy that he had where, you know, Obviously, we come from the fishing industry, and when you're 200 miles offshore, you've got you to get creative. And there's not always someone you can call for help. Um, so, you know, when the ship is sinking, as he alluded his diagnosis to ALS as the sinking ship, you know, you don't sit there and drink a cup of coffee and enjoy the ride down. You try to plug the hole. And that's what, uh, that's what TDI is for us. It's the struggle, it's the fight, it's the legacy, and it's the progression to try to, uh, to get creative. And, you know, I, I was offered a special opportunity to kind of share um, our story with this catch with Discovery Channel. And uh, we just thought we would do everything we could to try to make the best of it. And uh, sometimes it takes just a little bit of getting creative and trying to, trying to soldier through it. And, I'm going to pass this over to my sister, who I'm sure is a lot more fluid than I am in this thing. Uh, and she can tell you about a few of the creative ways that we've tried to tackle this disease. So this is our first time to the White Coat Affair. Our mom serves on the board of directors, so she's been here a handful of years. But this is the first time that... Uh, Sean, myself, and my new sister-in-law, Bree, have been able to come. And to say the experience that we've had the past couple days has been 
indescribable. Um, I am my mother's daughter. We can thank Jenny for this. Yes. Anyone, you know, yeah. um, last night after the leadership summit, I was not only able to talk to ALS TDI staff, but I was able to talk to representatives from Google, scientists that serve for ALS TDI, and to finally be able to put faces to names, and I'm sure vice versa for all of you guys that have watched Sean and I through our mom's Facebook again. Um, again, has been, there are no words to put to this experience. Um, our dad's favorite saying was, the beatings will continue until morale improves. <laughs> Fortunately, they were figuratively more than literal in most often cases, but those are the words that we have inscribed on his urn that probably still sit in our mother's kitchen next to the two cremated dogs. <laughs> At ALS TDR, there are no beatings because the morale is continuously improving. You guys put so much effort forth in what you are doing that there is constant hope. And I keep referencing my mom, but <laughs> her favorite word is joy. So with the opportunity that Sean's been given, we've been able to come up with many ways to help fundraise for ALS TDI, including merchandise sales from our Brenna A merchandising. Um, we now have a Brenna A beer for those aficionados. We have three Brenna A beers Woo! for those beer aficionados. Um, all proceeds are donated back to ALS TDI 100%. More recently, too, we have dabbled in the restaurant industry and are partners with Dwyer's Family Restaurant in lovely Ketchikan, Alaska, where our mom is born and raised and my brother and I spend summers working up in. Um, it is my honor and pleasure to say that we have been able to raise $27,000 for ALS TDI. This year. <laughs> and unlike Jeff Swick, we do not have a fancy placard. We just have this piece of paper that stands as a check. There's real checks in there. <laughs> it is an envelope, though, and there are checks inside, so that says something. Yeah. Um, So, with that, that, that that's twenty-seven thousand dollars from restaurant proceeds from this year, twenty eighteen, and we just we want to challenge everybody here, um, specifically uh, table twenty-seven, to uh, <laughs> to really dig deep, and I think that that table twenty-seven collectively, Fernando. <laughs> This is, this is lucky that you're sitting there, because now I got someone to talk to. So, you're screwed, buddy. Uh, we need 27 grand out of table 27. And don't, don't think that you're off the hook at 26. Good, John. Our friends from Iceland are here as well. We need everybody in this room, all jokes aside, to build their legacy with us and end this disease with ALS TDI tonight, right now. We need that.